Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a composite product in a WooCommerce website. Let me show you two different types of composite products that I have created. This is the first example of the composite product in which the price of the composite product will remain fixed and we are going to add different products in a composite product. So the price of this composite product will remain fixed that is $150. So we are going to add three different components in this composite products. The first one will be shirt, the second one will be jeans and the third one will be shoes and the user will be able to select one item from each component. That is the condition that I have said. You can set multiple items also. Now let's select one shirt. Uh, this is the shirt that I have selected. And uh, let's select one jeans. You will see this product is required. So the user will need to select one of these jeans and let's select the shoes. So we have selected one shoes also. From here, I'm going to select the variation. So we have selected three different options. Let's say I do not want this one. So I can clear the selection and select another one. And you can see that the order total is $150 only. So even if we change the item, it is going to show the fixed price for this composite product. Now let me show you another example of the composite product. In this composite product, we have a base price of $10 and we are going to offer 50% discount on each component so the price of this shirt is forty dollars and if they select one of these shirts they are going to get fifty percent discount on a shirt so if i select this shirt you will see the price will be twenty dollars let's go to jeans the price of the jeans is hundred and fifty dollars and the customer will get fifty percent discount on selecting one of these jeans so i'm going to select one jeans here and you will see the price is seventy five dollars instead of $150. The next component is shoes and we are going to offer 50% discount on the shoes also. So that is the condition that I have set up in the composite product that they will get 50% discount on each product. So I'm going to select the shoes also. This is another layout for the component. This is the radio option. So I'm going to select one bag. You will see there is a 50% discount on the bag also. And the next option is bracelet which is an optional component so it is not required to select one of the bracelets from the composite product this is going to be an optional product and all the other components are mandatory so they will need to select one jeans or one shoes in order to add the product into the cart this one is optional however i'm going to select one bracelet and that is going to be 50 percent discount i'm going to select color also now here you can see that the base price of the composite product is $10 and this is the price of each component that is added to the cart. So if I go to shirt, the shirt price will be $20. You will see it here. Then jeans will be $75, shoes will be $75. This one is $75 and this one is $75. So total is $320 plus the base price of the composite product. So the total will be $330 and in this case we are offering 50% discount for the entire composite product. So you can create different types of composite products in your WooCommerce website. The plugin that I'm going to use is YITH Composite Products for WooCommerce. This is a premium plugin and the price of this plugin is only $109.99 per year for a single website. And you will also get 30 days money back guarantee. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So let's see how we can create a composite product in a WooCommerce website. Do not forget to subscribe to Quick Tips YouTube channel. Watch new videos about website design, e-commerce websites, search engine optimization, social media marketing, WordPress tutorials, video editing tips, and many more. Press the bell icon to get instant notification whenever we publish new videos. So here I'm logged into the dashboard of the WordPress website. This is a demo of WooCommerce website and I have already installed the YITH composite products for WooCommerce premium plugin. In one of the previous videos, I have shown you how to create advanced product review system in a WooCommerce website using the YITH WooCommerce advanced reviews premium plugin. If you want to watch that video, I'll give you the link in the description box. And here I have installed the plugin. So when you install the plugin, 
in the left hand panel you will see the option YITH and if you go to YITH you will see the option composite products click on it and these are the basic settings of the plugin and I don't think you need to make any changes to the settings of the plugin we are going to create the composite product so let's go to products and let's click on add new product so we are going to create a new product so whatever name that you want to assign to the product you can assign a name to the product this is going to be a composite product in which you are going to offer different options that the customer will be able to select and create a composite product let's add some product description here and for the product data you will see the option composite product select that option now here you will see two different options per item shipping if your composite product consists of items that are assembled or packaged together leave this box unchecked and define the shipping properties so i'm going to keep it unchecked then we have second option here per item pricing when per item pricing is checked the composite product will be priced according to the cost of its contents in this case a regular price will be a fixed cost added to the total price so I'm going to keep it as it is and for the composite product as of now I'm going to add the regular price $200 and sale price will be $170. This is going to be a combination of multiple products. Now in the left hand panel you will see the option components. Click on components and now we are going to add the components for the composite product. So you will see the option here add component click on it. Now the first option will be let's say a shirt. I'm going to add a shirt let's go to new component and name it as shirt and description will be let's say select one shirt from the list all right so we are going to offer them one shirt now the selection type will be products categories or tags if you want to select the entire category you can also select the category let's say shirt so it will show all the products from that category i'm going to select products and i'm going to add some shirts here Let's say we have this green t-shirt let's add two more products all right so we have got three different t-shirts from which they can select right then we have sort products by default sorting i'm not going to make any changes ascendant or descendant i'm going to keep it as it is option selection type will be drop down product thumbnails or a radio button i'm going to select product thumbnails i'll also show you how the other options look count it separately check if you want the component quantity to be calculated as independent value no matter how many composite products are added to the card so i'm going to check this option minimum quantity will be one and maximum quantity will be let's say one only so i want the user to select only one shirt so i'm going to keep the maximum quantity as one discount applied it works only if per item pricing is checked so if you check this option then only this discount will be applied so i'm going to keep it as it is apply discount on sale price not required replace thumbnail check if you want to replace the composite product thumbnail required let's make it required so user will not be able to go to the next step without selecting one of these options exclusive selection check if you want that the current product cannot be selected in other components so I'm going to keep it as it is and I'm going to save this component. So we have created one component here. Let's click on add component. And for this, let's say jeans. The second option will be jeans. Select one jeans from the list. And selection type will be products. I'm going to select some products here. Let's select this jeans. Let's add one more. And let's add one more all right so we have three jeans let's select product thumbnails and i'm going to keep the minimum quantity one maximum quantity one and all the other options will remain as it is let's make it required and save the component let's add one more component here let's add shoes select two pair of shoes so for this one we are going to let the customer to select two different products so maximum quantity will be two and for the products i'm going to select some shoes here then the option will be product thumbnails again and maximum quantity let's make it two let's make it required save the components 
and let's add one more component it will be let's say bag select one bag and for the products search for bag right and for this one i'm going to select a radio button maximum quantity will be one and let's make this one also required save the components let's go to add component and let's add, let's add one more component here let's name it as a bracelet let's search for the product and for this one i'm going to select drop down and maximum quantity one and this one i'm not going to mark it as required this will be an optional component let's click on save components then we have product short description so in the short description i'm going to add some information all right so this is the short description you can also create a category for the composite product and let's add one product image here so i'm going to select one of the images from the media library let's select this one all right and we have already saved the components let's go to dependencies here and let's add dependency if i go to new dependence you will see the name here and the list of components do nothing do nothing so i'm going to keep it as it is let's click on publish and let's see how does this look let's open the product and uh, this is how the product will look this is the title of the product this is the regular price and this is the sale price and uh, this is the short description all-in-one combo product at discounted price select one t-shirt one jean two shoes one bag one bracelet and you will see list of all the components the first one is shirt select one shirt from the list this is what we mentioned in the description for this component so i'm going to select one shirt and the color will be aqua so this is a variable product so we have selected one shirt let's select one jeans let's select this one and pair of shoes i'm going to select two shoes let's select color also now one bag for the bag we have the radio button option selected so i'm going to select one bag and the bracelet is optional so it is not required and you will see a drop down here for the bracelet but it is not required so i'm going to select one bracelet also you will see the image of the bracelet and this is the image of the bag and it says the add to cart button is disabled because the following component is not selected so we need to select the bag the bag has the variable option so we need to select the variation now the add to cart button is activated so i can select one or more products from each component and i can add them in a shopping cart and you will see the product base price is 170 or the total is 170 i can add the product to the cart if i make it two it will create two composite products and the price will be doubled now if you do not want them to add more than one composite product quantity you can disable it from inventory so let's go back to product go to inventory and select this option limit purchases to one item per order let's update it let's refresh it and you will see that the quantity selector is gone now let's go back and let's select this option per item pricing and let's update it let's refresh it here at the bottom you will see the base price is 170 and if i select one of these options you will see that product price will be added the price of this shirt is 42 dollars and it will be added to the base price now if i select this option the price of this product is 150 dollars and that price will also be added to the base price if i select this one it is going to add the price to the base price so this is what this option is used for per item shipping so you can create a base price there you can calculate the price of each item separately let's say i'm going to delete this pricing here and let's make it ten dollars extra the base price will be let's say ten dollars and let's go to components here 
for the shirt i'm going to count it separately and i'm going to add a discount here i said 50 percent discount and apply discount to sale price of this product let's go to jeans and count it separately and maximum disc and let's add a discount here let's go to shoes also let's add a discount to the shoes 50 percent discount for the bag add 50 percent discount and for this one also we are going to add 50 percent discount right let's click on save components update it now let's go back refresh it now you will see the base price of this product is now only ten dollars however if i add the product into the cart it is going to add the price of the product to the base price so you will see the base price is ten dollars uh, let's add this product now you will see it has got 50 percent discount so instead of 42 dollars it is going to charge you only 21 dollars the regular price of this product is 150 dollars and we are going to offer 50 percent discount that will be 75 dollars for this one also we are going to offer 50 percent discount and let's add this one also add a 50 percent discount for the bracelet bracelet is an optional select one bracelet from here and you will see there will be a 50 percent discount on the bracelet also so all the products are added at a 50 percent discount and the base price is also added that will be ten dollars so the total card price is going to be three hundred and eleven dollars instead of six hundred dollars so in this case the user will get 50 percent discount i can add the product to the card and if i go to add to cart you will see all the products are added into the cart now if i go to view cart you will see the total price here that will be 311 now let's go back and let's change the layout let's go to components currently we are using simple list the second option is accordion list select it click on update and let's go to product view product so you will see the first option there that is shirt this is an accordion list you will see the shirts option is opened and all the other options are closed Let's select the shirt and go to jeans click on it it will open the options for the jeans and go to shoes open it select the shoes go to bag select the bag go to bracelet and select the bracelet so this is the accordion list display style let's go to the next option that is steps update it let's go to product page refresh it now we are using the steps display style this is the first step in the first step we are going to select shirt so you will see no other products are there one out of five and next option is there so i'm going to select the shirt go to next option let's select the jeans then go to next option shoes next option bag then go to next option select the bracelet you can also go to previous option clear the selection and select another option let's go to the first option that will be shirt and i want to clear this i want to select another one instead of green i can clear the selection and select blue and once done i can add the product into the cart so it is very easy to create a composite product in a woocommerce website using the yith composite products for WooCommerce plugin. The price of this plugin is only $109.99 per year for a single website and you will also get 30 days money back guarantee. If you want to buy this plugin, I'll give you the link in the description box. You can use my link. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching Quick Tips.